Jay Saddle here. Today I'm excited to show you what we got washing up. It's called a mushroom cap jelly. And look how the size of this thing. It's huge. Now, if you know uh, anything about jellyfish, this is a true jellyfish. So think of cabbage head jellyfish that get about this size right here. Um, these can be like 22 inches across, so about like that. They look very similar to what maybe a moon jellyfish would look like, although moon jelly is a little more translucent and, uh, and smaller in size. And this doesn't have the tentacles around the, the bell like uh, you would find you know, with the moon jellyfish. So let's talk about a few things about this cool jelly washing up. Now the top of it, as I look at it, I can tell that birds have been feeding on it. And that's pretty typical with any jellyfish that washes up. You know, uh, it's gonna evaporate very fast because the majority of it is made of water. Uh, and But right when it washes up, you have things that start feeding on it. Hey, food, you know, the beach is scarce of food. It has a very mild sting to it. Um, similar to probably a moon jelly. But what you'll see down here is you have these uh, oral arms. Now, most people might think that these are uh, what can sting you. But um, no, that, those are, that's how it, it's feeding, is by these oral arms down here. Ooh. Oh man, the water's coming up. six inches from getting wet. Now, why would they be called mushroom cap jelly? Well, they look like a mushroom. I mean, these things are, you know, round in shape. They have the oral arms coming off of it. And so if you could actually look at it, if it could stand up or if it's in the water, it would look like a mushroom. These things, you might be thinking, man, what do they feed on? Because they're so big, but they actually just feed on plankton. It's like uh, any of those other jellyfish, you know, little uh, microorganisms that are living out in the water. That's what they're feeding on. Okay, so we got this thing cleaned up here. Easier to see. Uh, this is the underside of it. You can see the un um, it has these oral arms hanging off. Uh, this is how it feeds. Uh, it's got his uh, reproductive glands under here. And you'll notice, uh, and I've seen quite a few of these on the beach. It's, it's actually not that common to find them, but uh, because they're only found in the Atlantic and in uh, the Gulf. But whenever you look at it, you'll see like these kind of rays coming off of it, uh, like these lines. Uh, and that's how you can really tell that it, the difference between this one and the cannonball jellyfish. I mean, besides this, this looks totally different. The cannonball jellyfish would have a big uh, chunk of oral arms coming out that are solid, whereas these kind of dangle down uh, in here. So, okay, look at the size of that. My hand is huge. Uh, so this is like, you know, really big size. Now these can actually have different colors associated with them as well. So they could be bluish. Uh, the bell part, which is the top part, can be uh, have a little pink color to it, or, or or even green. You might be thinking, man, these are so big. They probably live like a really long time out in the environment, right? Well, as adults, they can, they live less than a year. So they get this size in less than a year. So they grow very fast. Now I know one of the main things you're wondering is like, hey, uh, can we eat these things? And the answer is yes. Over in Asia, they can be eaten pickled. So, you know, they'll chop up the bell and uh, pickle it, uh, or they dry the whole thing out and make it into a paste. Mmm. Now, I'm not sure that I'm gonna try that, but uh, I might be up for it a little. I, I like pickles, you know. Okay. We're gonna take this massive jelly. I got it upside down so it doesn't break apart. I think it's still alive. Well, I'm gonna try to take it back and release it. Uh, these don't sting. I mean, they have stinging cells, but it's not gonna hurt you that bad. So it's, uh, these are pretty rare to find. So I'm gonna take this one back and we'll release it. That's cold. Okay, we released him. Back to the Gulf. Hopefully it survives another day. Woo, that is one big jelly. Okay, 
Hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Beach Coming. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.